We're back and we're still trying to make our way to Orin's place. In the sewers, in the Undercity. When last we left our intrepid adventurers, they were trying to make it across a far slayer chasm. Karlak died, fell into the chasm. Everybody else turned invisible and came back to camp. So now I'm going to see. I wonder what the next move is. If I can get Shadowheart to cast a Pass Without Trace spell. I'm going to try to sneak through this place. I'm going to have everybody. Up now. Just out of view. Hide, hopefully. And then I'm going to leave camp and see what happens. That's what happens. We immediately get spotted and we're in trouble. So an invoker of Baal is casting Murderous Cloud of Daggers, which is level 3, so... Tavi is going to counterspell that. Your time is up. So the question is, do we fight our way through or do we go back to going invisible? If we stay put, we only have four enemies to fight. And they are low level, so all we have to do is hit them. Um... Now this is my happy place. Karlak has a simultaneous turn. Yeah, the thing is, if I go up there, I'm gonna draw more attention, though. I think I want everybody to just kind of stand here in place. Aye, aye. And then if we get through this, then we can start sneaking again. This guy's going to come down and try to attack us, I think. And then these other folks, they're way over there. They're going to... Well, they're going to shoot at us, but... Can we shoot at them? We can technically try to shoot at them, but it's severe disadvantage. That's a miss. We do have a line of sight, and that's another miss. Not surprisingly. Let's at least try to get some cover. Come on, can't stay idle. Tavi can't really do a lot. Wow, Tavi's out of third level spell slots. Yeah, I had thought that we would be going directly into a fight with Orin at the end of this, but we may need to rest before that. Perhaps I can throw a smoke powder bomb at these people's faces. No hesitation. Well, it worked. <laughs> Did I knock them off? Well, I killed one of them. <laughs> I didn't get the other ones, though. Well, that's something. And then, uh, let's deep and move. get a little bit of cover. Need to stay focused. Shadowheart will attempt to do a sacred flame, which we have a much better chance of hitting with. Time to deal some punishment. Only 12 points of damage, unfortunately. Death is but a word away. Gale will attempt a
fire bolt. Oh, okay, Gales doesn't get a direct shot at them though, unfortunately. Can we get a shot at this guy? No. We don't get a shot at these guys without moving, so... Well, how did... How did everybody else get a shot? I think Gale's just gonna move out of the way. And we still don't get any kind of shot. Okay, yeah, Gale's just gonna move out of the way. Oh, they're moving to take shots, but they don't get to take a shot. Okay, Invoker of Baal is casting another murderous cloud of daggers. Okay. Gale's gonna counterspell it. That's annoying. What's this? I think Carlac's gonna have to go up this ladder and hit him in the face. And potentially expose herself to further Boom. enemies. Mm. Yep, two more enemies. <laughs> but that's one hit for 13. Second attack hits for 12. Wow. And then we're going to attempt to shove him off the ledge. And we do, and he takes nine more damage as he falls down. And then Carlex going back down the ladder. Wow, Carlac's got a lot of movement. That's the end of Carlac's turn. Where do I go from here? Tavi's gonna attempt a crossbow shot on the Invoker of Ball, Ellis. Five points of damage and a bane. Can't afford to let up. Shadowheart's gonna move a bit closer to get cover and. Do another Sacred Flame, I guess. 13 points of damage. Unleash me. Gale's gonna do a Firebolt, but misses. All right, the Night Blade's up there. They're not moving. They're shooting at range. Oh, one of them hit for 18 damage. Oh God, another. Ah, they just keep casting spells. I can't react to every one of these spells. Oh, luckily a critical miss. Yep, we're just gonna let all these go through. Tavi's gonna do cutting words, though, as they fire at a chromatic orb at Shadowheart. It hits for 25 damage. Youch. Ooh, damn. A critical hit on Carlac, and they run up again to get high ground. Well, well, I guess we're going to have to fight these people at range then. Um... Tavi's gonna move over here, One and I think she's gonna you. try to throw another smoke powder bomb at these people up here. Good idea, I think. It was a good idea, because they're both dead now. Those guys aren't shooting at us anymore. Take that. And let's try to stay undercover. This is gonna feel good. Carlac's gonna run up and hit this guy. This. One hit for ten. Second attack. Kills them. And we actually have a bonus action attack, but we can't get close enough to hit the other ones, unfortunately. I think we're going to have to rush these guys. but then I don't think we can get close enough. Sadly. That's gonna end Carlock's turn. 
I think Shadowheart's gonna go up this ledge. On my way. Go up this ladder, I mean. And cast a firebolt. Uh, from low ground, unfortunately, at the second one. You guys like fire so much? Have some. I missed, though. Gail's also gonna... Can Gail get up this ladder? Yes. Pawn to Cleric 4. <clears throat> Shadowheart's still casting Pass Without Trace, luckily. Let's try to get the first guy. That's a hit for 22 damage. He's got 36 left. And they continue to cast Chromatic Orbs of Fire. Gale's gonna absorb elements. Only takes seven damage. Um, not gonna react. Gonna do cutting words though. And the Chromatic Orb misses Shadowheart. Okay, Tavi just took four points of damage for unknown reasons. Why is she taking fire damage? She's nowhere near any of that fire. She's just gonna stay where she is. Carlac's gonna switch to a crossbow. Because I don't think she can actually jump across there. Or can she? Can she jump across? Not enough. Yeah, she can jump past them, I think. Yeah, she, she's going to jump past them. Oh, pulled some more. Damn it. All right, that's fine. She's going to wail on this guy. Um, we're not going to use our... Yeah, let's use our Executioner to turn this into a critical hit. That's 29 damage. And... Um, let's, yeah, let's do this, hit the second one. So he's dead, and can she move to a place where we can't get hit? Damn it. Yeah, because I, I don't want to get shoved off the edge. My faith will protect me. We keep pulling more. I want to sneak through here. Um, Shadowheart's going to do a fire bolt. That's a hit for 12. One can't always be a gentleman. Gale's stepping out of the fire and doing his own fire bolt. And hitting that guy for 18. Devastator Elizabeth does. Predictably, another chromatic fire orb. On Gale, Tavi uses cutting words, but it doesn't work. Gale takes seven damage. Ah, they tried to push Karlak out off the ledge, but failed. Okay, Manglin Abbey is coming up the ladder, running through a thing of fire behind. Oh boy, okay, they're gonna try to shove. Shadow hard off the edge there, I think. Okay, Gale gets an opportunity attack. He's gonna try to do a shocking grasp on Manglin Abbey. I think that's the one that pushed Carlac into the chasm. That's 12 points of damage. Does try to push Shadow Heart off the ledge, but it fails. Strangler Luke comes running in, coming up the ladder through the fire. Takes a couple points of damage, and then jumps back down again, inexplicably. And there's three more night blades running around over here. Okay, we really need to stop moving around so much. Okay, Karlak. I'm heating up. Is gonna try to sh shove. No, we're not gonna try to shove this guy off. 
because we are going to go into a rage, though. Oh, well, that used my bonus action anyway. I was going to say I didn't... Oh, I got teleport! Awesome. Perfect. I was going to say I didn't want to use up my bonus action so I could jump back across, but I used it up anyway. Second attack. Kills that guy. That's another one down. If we would just stop pulling new enemies repeatedly, we could get through this. Still on my feet. Okay, Tavi, I think, is going to try to run up here. Need to find a way forward. And, um. Shoot at Strangler Luke, maybe? With an arrow of fire? I don't want to burn up the ladder. Never mind. How about just a plain old vicious mockery on Mr. Strangler Luke? That was a hairy -hearted horse. Oh, he made his save. And now he knows where I am. Trouble. Let's give Bardic Inspiration to Gale. Let's finish this. Okay, Shadowheart. Can Shadowheart try to push this guy? <laughs> Shadowheart's gonna try to push this guy. No, it's not gonna work. Ah! Nope, failed. Um... we do? Because he's going to try to knock her off. Oh, I don't want to break my concentration on Pass Without Trace, either. Do, 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 do. I guess we just do another sacred flame and then run away, probably. Twelve points of damage, not really worth the effort. Oh, we can't go anywhere that way. Oh yes we can. We can go through this fire. Got to move. Down to the corner here. That leaves Kale vulnerable to getting shoved off the ledge. The night blades, they're dashing towards us. Not really worried about them. They're only level five. Gale takes a couple of points of fire damage. And I think he's gonna go back down Night the King. ladder. And then do a firebolt on Strangler Luke. <laughs> Critical hit for 28 damage. Nice. And then move under cover. Strangler Luke takes... Oh! Punches at Gale once. And a second time, Tavi does cutting words and makes him miss. Oh, and he does a third attack, punching Gale for another eight points. Uh-oh. Manglin Abbey just went into a rage and does a critical hit on Shadowheart for 15 damage. Let's try a Bulwark Rebuke again, even though I think this thing is bugged and it never actually works. <laughs> Tavi takes a hit. Alright. Alright, Tavi is up. Powers here. Mind blast. 
Yes, no, I don't want to waste all of these. Shield of Thralls. Conjure a volatile shield around yourself or an ally, granting 10 temporary hit points. Hmm. Until the next long rest. Yeah, let's do that. That'll replace my four temporary hit points with ten temporary hit points. And with my bonus action... Oh, I'm out of, uh, I'm out of Bardic Inspirations now. Whoops. I think that's it for Tavi. Let's go! Carlac is now going to jump across and attack Manglin Abbey with advantage because Manglin Abbey went reckless. That is a hit. Only eight points of damage, though, because they are in a rage. Second attack with advantage is another only eight points of damage. Shadow Heart will do a sacred flame. But they made their save and took no damage. Two more night blades are rushing in, attacking Gale. 16 total damage to him. The second one is throwing a dagger at Karlak. Uh, oh, what's our rage effect? Oh, teleport. No, we don't want to... Don't want to change that. Gale is hit. Gale is surrounded by enemies right now. That's not cool. Um... It's so not cool, I think he's going to go invisible. Evidence. Goodbye, everyone. I'm moving around over here. Let's light them up. If you don't mind. And then I will drink a healing potion. Superior healing potion is the only one he's got. That's 31 hit points back. Strangler Luke attacks Tavi once and twice. Oh, Shadowheart takes a critical hit. 24 slashing damage. Another Bulwark Rebuke. I mean, it doesn't do anything, but I keep trying it. Oh my god. Shadowheart is getting pummeled down there. She's only got four hit points left. Okay, Tavi, this is a great time for a mind blast. She's got four people lined up right there, so... Mind blast, can I hit? I can only hit three of them, unfortunately. No, I can hit four of them. I can hit all four of them. Here we go. Boom! Two of them are dead. One of them didn't take any damage. Uh, Strangler Luke is stunned, so Tabby's gonna move away. Right? Is that what she's gonna do? Is she gonna move up this ladder? Yeah, she's going to run up this ladder behind Karlak. <laughs> Hiding behind Karlak now. Gale is invisible, so he's okay. And with her bonus action, she's going to throw a healing word at, let's say, fourth level on Shadowheart. Thirteen heals for her. Oh my word. Arlac is going to shove, attempt to shove Manglin Abbey off the ledge here. I don't think 
it says it's red, so I don't think I can actually do this. I'm gonna try it, though. Well, it worked, but they didn't go off the ledge, so, so much for that. Instead, we attack twice. Six points of damage, and eight points of damage. What should I do? Shadowheart, you should probably drink a healing potion at this point. Superior healing, we're getting down to our last healing potions. That's 29 hit points back. And then... With your action... Wait, do you have inflict wounds? You do have inflict wounds, don't you? 3 to 30 necrotic damage. They're not going to take half damage from that. This is with advantage. 12 points of damage. Wasn't that great, but... Better than nothing. A knight blade's climbing up the ladder after Tavi attacks Karlak. Hits for two points of damage, then does a flourish, which is a critical hit, but it's only three bludgeoning damage. Gale feels feels safe, hiding invisibly over here. Um. I think he might do a Eldritch Blast. He's going to have to move a little bit over here. Going to do an Eldritch Blast on the Strangler Luke, who is dazed. Three attacks. One's a critical, the other two missed completely, so that was only 12 points of damage on him. Manglin Abbey hits Shadowheart. This Bulwark Rebuke is so useless. Why do I keep doing it? It doesn't do anything. It's supposed to do damage, but it doesn't. Three hits on Shadowheart. For 9, 15, and 10 damage. <laughs> She's still alive, but barely. Um, Tavi... Tavi's gonna try to shove this Nightblade off. Can we do that? It doesn't look like he's gonna go off the edge, though. Um, what if we do... A uh, what do we do? What do we do? I'm a little worried about Shadowheart getting killed. This Manglin Abbey Barbarian is relentless and frenzied. Um... What if, let's do, let's, let's see if we can find a, a scroll. Find a nice scroll to do a little damage on this guy. Oh, a scroll of blight. <laughs> Disintegrate. That's a little much. Dethrone. That's intense. Somebody needs to learn that. Oh, how about a scroll of fear? Target is blocked. No, he's not. He is not blocked. I'm sorry, he's not blocked. We're gonna cast Fear on Manglin Abbey. And they dropped their weapon! Yes! And they're afraid. Oh, by the way, Shadowheart lost concentration on Pass Without Trace a while back. I forgot. 
So much for that. I guess we're not sneaking through after all. And she is going to try to shove this night blade. Well, it just knocked him to grit down. Didn't really do anything. <laughs> okay, now Karlak is going to... This guy's fearful, so Karlak's going... Well, it's going to keep attacking this guy. That's ten more damage. That's six more damage. He's not dead yet. He's got twelve hit points left. Now Karlak's going to try to shove this guy off. Finally knocks that guy down. He takes some damage. Let's end this. Shadowheart is going to try another Inflict Wounds for 3 to 30 damage with advantage on the fearful Manglin Abbey. 21 damage, he's dead. Or she is dead. Whoever that is, is dead. And Shadowheart survives. Nightblade Meredith runs back up the ladder, the last one. Tries to stab at Karlac, but misses. Gale is... Oh, Gale's gonna shoot at... Oh, the Strangler Luke is left. I forgot about him. Gale's gonna do a firebolt. 21 damage. He's only got two hit points left. Anyone want to help me with this Strangler down here? While y'all are busy up there on that ledge? He's running after me. He's hitting me. It's hurting. He's a monk. He's hitting me a lot of times in a row. <laughs> uh, Tavi's gonna hit Nightblade Meredith. That. Wow, that was enough to kill him in one blow. 13 slashing, 1 psychic damage, and then called the weak, and his mind collapsed. Nice. Fuck yes. Now. All right, soldier, I'm coming down the ladder to help you, Gale. He's dead. Are you happy now? Still alive, so that's progress. Everybody come back down here and try to stay out of sight, please. And let's have us a second short rest. Just a brief respite. Shoo. And maybe hide a bit. Do any of these people have any good loot? Oh, this guy's got. Pack it in for the day, I think. But we just started. Shadowheart, you can't possibly be tired already. Bone spike gloves. This guy has. Attacks ignore resistance to slashing, piercing, and bludgeoning damage. Wait. Is that. Is that any attacks? Or is that unarmed attacks? Because if that's any attacks, I think Karlak needs to wear those. I'm going to send those to Karlak. That can't be any attack. It has to be unarmed attacks. Have to take off her bracers of defense, but where'd those gloves go? Your it just says your attacks. Ignore resistance to slashing. I'm gonna try to put them on. We lose two points of AC, but. If that applies... to any attack, that's pretty amazing. Well, now I want to check everybody else to see if they have any amazing loot. Ugh. Daggers. More daggers. Let's check 
Let's check this invoker of ball up here. Oh, he's got a key, an Undercity Ruins Chasm Door key. Yeah, I think we needed that. Manglin Abbey doesn't have any... anything interesting. All right, let's continue through the rest of this place, if we can. I don't see anybody around this way. Oh, there's some enemies. Some more night blades over here in our pathway as we sneak around. <laughs> can't reach destination. What do you mean, can't reach destination? What do you mean, can't reach destination? We have to go down the lower path. Well... Oh, there's my cat again. All the cats are quiet in the house, and here comes my cat to disturb everybody. Gracie, well, why can't you just be satisfied and stay quiet and still for the time period that I play my games? Why can't you just stay quiet? If I feed you any food now, it's gonna wake up the other cat, and then it's gonna be pandemonium for like a half hour. It happens every time. Spilt pea soup. Okay, this is an interesting, uh... Interesting murder room here. Okay, let's not go that way. Let's go up these stairs instead. No, Gracie, go back. Go back, please. I'm trying not to get killed. I should quick save in case the cat makes me die. Oh, this passage turns around. This is going up to the room where these night blades are. Well, we can sneak up on them. We can murder them quite easily, I think. We can do a, a nice little sneak, sneak attack on them. Well, well. Karlak, why don't you run up and hit one of them in the back with advantage? Need to learn the hard way. That's one hit. And a second hit. Actually, that didn't really do a lot of damage. Weirdly. Oh, we gotta go reckless. It says ignores resistance. It, it, it says ignores resistance there. Wow. Cool. I think the gloves actually work on any attack. That's amazing. Okay. I think I had Tavi lost. is going to attempt a uh, sneak attack on uh, Nightblade Majo. That is a hit for 10 damage, not great. Can't be up with you. Gale's gonna do a firebolt on this guy over here with advantage. That's 23 damage to that guy. Cloak and dagger. My Shadow heart will do a um sacred flame on Nightblade Abraxa. Oh, let's do cutting words. And it wasn't enough damage to kill him, unfortunately. All right, Tavi is up now. Tavi's gonna do another attack on Nightblade Majo. Whoops, we don't have enough resources though. Never mind. Ready for another round? 
Karlak is also out of resources and is not going to do anything except stand there. All the enemies are surprised. I'm ready. Boom. Call the weak. One's dead. Nightblade Majo's mind collapsed. Uh, did damage to the other ones too. Uh, Karlak is gonna run over and hit this Nightblade Garathan. 11 damage. Second attack. Kills him. Sometimes the only way out is through. Tavi's gonna hit this one with one hit point left with a crossbow. Hand crossbow. They're dead. Easily defeated. And we sneak again, except Tavi didn't sneak. Oh, she did sneak, but she's still standing up for some reason. Um, we'll take the arrows of roaring thunder. Oh god, that would have... Yeah, that definitely would have knocked us off the bridge out there. These guys were here to knock us off that bridge. Arrows of roaring thunder and arrows of snow. Should mind my step. Okay. Okay, so here's a problem. Where do we go from here? We have to sneak through there and go around that way. I see. Okay, so we have to go back down. We have to go out into the exposed space where we could very well be hit by the, uh, the death spell, but we're only going to be out there for a couple of steps. Gracie, I see you trying to sneak closer. I see what you're trying to do. You're inching closer all the time to the keyboard. Pawing at my hands. I see what you're doing. Okay, the cat's been dealt with. All right. Should we do this turn by turn? I feel like as soon as we walk out there, we're going to be exposed. I feel like I want to do this turn-based. And have everybody just sprint through. Tavi is just going to dash through. Or sneak through. Oh, okay, this is no problem. They're not going to see us. Nobody's going to see us. It's fine. There is work to do. Oh, Shadowheart wasn't close enough. Uh, Shadowheart's barely going to make it. Off I go. I'm being extra cautious. Because I don't want to get blown up by a death curse spell at this point. Oh, there looks like there's a door there. On my way. A metal door blocked by ballast mischief, it says. That must be the door we're supposed to go through. Don't burn yourself. That must be the door that we need the key for. Karlak has tons Turn of movement speed. And easily makes it through. I can't waste any more time. All right, I see that there is time to press ahead. Whoa. What's that? What's what? Oh, a strangled death manifesto. This sweat blotted letter looks unfinished, perhaps even unsent. To my fellow blood brethren, if you are reading this missive, know that you number among my most trusted confidants. 
Also know that if you betray my trust, my hands will grip your throat with the steadfast embrace of long-parted lovers. So, yes, of late, my friends, I have felt a calling when my fingers meet each other around a windpipe. As if there is a voice whispering sweet nonsense into my ear as I tear the breath from my quarry's lungs. I think I am chosen by our lord of murder, perhaps even related. Yes, my brethren, I will stake my claim on a legacy of murder, a throne of blood. I will challenge Lady Orin to her birthright, and if my grip stops her gasps before she flays my skin from bone, I will become Strangler Luke, son of Ball. Note to self, come up with catchier title before sending. That one is rubbish. Hmm, well, Strangler Luke. Sorry, you did not make the cut, I'm afraid. Nope, nothing but gold in this chest. Alright, here's a metal door. Definitely leads in the direction of Oren's netherstone, so let's try to open it. Wait, did it... did it unlock itself? It was locked a while ago, wasn't it? It's not locked now. Ooh, well this place looks quite a lot like the place in the... The opening title screen of the game also looks quite a bit larger than I expected. Quite sinister looking down there. Feels like it's going to be quite a difficult fight just by looking at the area that we will be fighting in. I guess we have to go all the way down there to that door way down in the distance. What all do we have to fight through to get there? The Lord of Murder shall perish. What? The statue is talking to us. But in his doom, he shall spawn a score of mortal progeny. Another statue is talking to us. Okay, I see two different directions I can go. Down closer to the scary door in the distance, or... Alternately down to this scary door in the distance. Which way do we go exactly? This seems like a good place to take a break because uh, we'll take a break here next to the grilled pork belly and grilled pork leg. Perhaps grab them for our campsite and become encumbered by picking them up. Whoops. Um... Ew, they are quite heavy. Let's send those to Karlak. She has more strength than I. Despite the fact that her heart is fried and she's going to die. I think this is where I'm going to stop for now. We'll hang out by this campfire. We still, um, we still have one more short rest. So we can do some more exploration in here before we need to go back for a long rest. I am very curious where this sort of side looking door goes. 
as opposed to the main pathway down into the the murder depth. Also, I'm very confused why Orin is so resistant to us coming down to see her after we've we've become you know, we've we've joined the murder cult. I thought we were welcome here. Hmm. Oh well. That's it for now. <laughs>